What's up everyone? In this week's video, I go up to Snoqualmie Pass, Washington. I shoot some photos at an empty ski resort. I loaded up my Canon AE-1 with some Color Plus 200 and then later on in the day, at my Pentax 6.7 with some Portra 400. I was able to get some pretty interesting images and I hope you guys enjoy. As I've mentioned in the past, I'm not super comfortable shooting on 35 millimeter focal lengths, so I thought today would be a good opportunity to come out and try to get a little bit more comfortable. Looking at all this garbage. Is that some garbage over there? It really makes you feel like people just packed up and left once the pandemic started. Kind of creepy never see a scene like this at a ski resort. this small creek that I'm gonna have to jump across I suppose but I'm making my way up to this building that's at the top of one of these chairlifts cool little log building might be a sweet photograph oh my god so in order to get that shot of me jumping across the creek there, I had to put the camera down on this side, jump across the creek, set my stuff down, cross back over and get the camera. And literally as I was coming up to get the camera, the wind blew the tr was blowing the tripod over and it the, my whole camera, my whole digital camera would have went right in the creek. And I literally was just just close enough to reach and grab the tripod before it tipped over oh my heart oh my heart just sank oh my god Can you imagine if i lost the bronica and then two weeks later lose my digital camera into a creek oh that timing was so lucky First thing that caught my eye is this scene behind me right here. Hotel, it's obviously all shut down. But the mountains in the background, I love how there's a dry 
rocky mountain on the right, and then a snowy mountain with a bunch of trees on the left. Got the sun blue sky poking out as well, which is pretty ideal. And uh, the lighting isn't too harsh in the hotel, so the highlights shouldn't be uh, too, too tricky to deal with. So that was really the only thing that caught my eye. Now I'm gonna walk around and try to find something else to shoot. I think I'm gonna try to isolate this car behind me. Just get the hotel in the backdrop. That could look pretty cool. So I really like what's going on with this car parked. It's kind of isolated. And there's like a empty crushed coffee cup in the other parking spot. It just adds a really nice little detail to the photo. I like the weeds or whatever's growing up out of the, the concrete right next to this tire that's kind of flat. Should be a pretty cool detailed shot, I think. All right, I got another kind of isolated car uh, with those same mountains in the background. I'm gonna shoot it as shallow as I can because I really wanna... Oh, the car's pulling away now, that's kind of sad. Maybe it'll still be cool with the just the gas station and the mountains in the background. Nope, it's not. All right, let's move on. I think this will be pretty cool. It's essentially a similar composition to the silver Corolla that I shot earlier with the hotel in the background, but this time it'll be a little bit wider and I'll be able to get the van and the Corolla and that Subaru is framed perfectly between the, the van and the Corolla. And I just love the color palette on the hotel. It's really beautiful with the green trees in the background. It pairs up nicely. Just came up on this snow plow with a really cool cabin in the background. And I actually shot a photo of this snow plow. It was parked right where the camera's sitting in the winter. I went up to this exact location and shot a bunch of photos. I really like how the snow plow is just kind of nestled in the trees and the cabin's kind of illuminated nicely in the background. So I think it should make for a decent image. All right, this is another frame that I shot when I was up here in the winter. It was probably my favorite photo from that whole uh, time I spent up here. But there's a lot of bushes that were weighted down by the snow that are now kind of in the, in the way. So I'm gonna have to stand up on top of my car to get above the bushes and hopefully get a good angle on this cabin. All right, I just stopped off in North Bend for some food. I got a few shots left and I see one particular shot that I think will be pretty cool. But uh, I'm not sure if I'm even gonna finish the roll tonight, but I'm definitely gonna grab this shot. It is of a gas station, but it's not with Cinestill 800T at least, so cut me some slack there. So it's gonna be a bit tricky because I don't want there to be any cars in the frame. And I gotta make sure I don't get this sign or post right there in the shot. And I can't get this in the shot, so I gotta just get the gas station with Mount Sai in the background, which should look pretty cool if I can pull it off, hopefully. And I love how this pathway feeds right into the gas station sign. Alright, so after I got back from North Bend, I stopped by a bridge that's pretty close to my house and I just wanted to take some long exposures. Not super long, but you know, try to get the shutter speed down to fourth half, maybe even one second. The water was super still that night, so I thought by slowing the shutter speed down I could almost get a painting type feeling to my images. And although some of them didn't exactly turn out the way that I planned, I'm still pretty happy with the results. This is probably my favorite photo from the last few that I took. Although the visibility through the water wasn't exactly as clear as I thought it would be, I think it actually plays in my favor by emphasizing that painting look that I was going for. There we go. For the record, this is gonna be very cold. And I don't know if I'm looking forward to it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hopefully no one steals my camera. There we go! Oh yeah! 
All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up this video. Definitely getting used to the Pentax now, really liking the system. I uh, love the color rendition from the 105 glass and the images are razor sharp. So definitely looking forward to shooting it the rest of the summer. Uh, but other than that, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there. I wish you all the best and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.